A high school teacher accused of repeatedly using a racial slur in a classroom has resigned. That word from the Springfield Public School District. The district also suspended the student who recorded the video for three days. Now, as Joe Hickman reports, the student's family has hired an attorney. The incident at a Glendale geometry class involved a teacher saying the N-word six times in a class discussion where a 15-year-old sophomore named Mary decided to turn on her cell phone and record as another student was warning the teacher of his inappropriate actions. Is the word not allowed to okay, so I'm going to say right now, as a teacher, if you want to keep your job, this is in the threat. I'm not, I'm I'm not calling anyone. A I understand. I can say the words. Today, a statement from the district said the teacher had resigned and also justified its three-day suspension of Mary for recording the video, saying it was a clear violation of the student handbook against using electronic devices. I don't know if it would have happened that quickly without this video. An investigation certainly would have taken longer without being able to just see the video and hear him say the word. Natalie Hull is a Chillicothe attorney representing Mary and her family. We've asked them to lift the suspension, let her go back to school immediately and apologize. Mary saw something that she believed needed to be reported. She captured this as a news event. It was a news event. It's become a news event. In fact, the Washington Post has contacted Null. And today, the National Radio Television Digital News Association, based in Washington, sent a letter to SPS defending Mary as well. Their president, Dan Shelley, a former SPS student and news director at KTTS, pointed out, I think it deserves attention nationally because the issue of right to record public officials really came to fruition in the days after the tragic death of George Floyd. And bear in mind, the world would not have seen the full picture of what happened to George Floyd were it not for a 17-year-old girl who stood on the sidewalk and videotaped the entire incident. Shelley and Null also say they believe the student handbook is too restrictive, Null pointing to a part that prohibits students from video recording acts of violence. They could get in trouble for capturing evidence of a crime. I think the handbook policy as currently written is unconstitutional. More than half the U.S. District Courts of Appeal have unequivocally stated that citizens have a right lawfully to record the activities of public officials. We contacted the teacher who turned down our offer to speak. And as for the 15-year-old student... She's dealing with anxiety. She doesn't really understand what she did wrong. It makes me sad because she did bring something to light that needed to be brought to light. She made what I call, and her mother calls, good trouble. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.